So very last, we're going to look at division. And we're going to start with the most basic case, build from there like we've been doing. So the simplest case is dividing by a monomial. One-termed polynomial. We use the quotient rule to subtract the exponents when the bases are the same, and we can divide those coefficients. So we'll do a few examples. You will catch on. So we can look at the coefficients. Do that division first. 10 divided by 2 gives me 5. And when I have the same base and division, we subtract the exponents. So I've got 2 and I'm taking away 1. I'll be left with 1. We get 5x out in the end. And for part B, I have a 1 up top and a 3 down below. They don't cancel at all. They don't simplify. So they stay where they are. And again, I have the same base and division, so we subtract the exponents. So how many factors of x do I have left? 7. Take the top number minus the bottom. And they stay up top. For part C, looking at the coefficient, negative 18 divided by 3 will give me negative 6. And how many factors of x am I looking at? Same base and division, so we take 10, subtract 3. Left with 7. And part D, 42 divided by negative 3. Excuse me, is negative 14. And we can look at the a's and the b's individually and see how many we have left. So, same base and division, 2 minus 1. I've got 1a. And how many b's? 5 minus 2. 3 altogether. So go ahead and take these three and simplify them. See what you get. Do the division. For the first, 20 divided by 5 gives me 4. How many x's? 3 minus 1, 2. For part B, negative 56 divided by 2 will give me negative 28. How many p's and how many q's? So my p's, I've got 5, taken away 2, I'm left with 3. And 7, take away 6, I'm left with 1. We don't have to write it. And for the last, coefficients, again, 4 isn't going to move since it has nothing to cancel with up top. And how many x's do I have up in the numerator? 5, and I'm taking away 1, so I've got x to the 4th over 4. Okay, so most basic case, monomial. Pretty straightforward. And the next thing to look at. So now we're dividing monomial by monomial. Monomial, monomial. Monomial, monomial. What about if it's different? So we're going to use this fact. If I have two fractions that have the same denominator, I can combine them together. And what does it look like? A plus B all over C. So we can look at the reverse of that as well. If I have a binomial up here, and I'm trying to divide it by one thing, I can split it up individually. First part, A divided by C. Second part, divided by C. So that's really what we're doing next. So the reverse also holds, meaning if we divide a polynomial, something bigger than one term, by a monomial, we divide each term up there by the thing down below. Each term needs to be divided by that monomial C. So the first example. We can rewrite this division as 9x to the 8th plus 12x to the 6th all over 3x squared, what we're dividing by. And now I know that I can split it up individually. So the first part, a over c, so 9x to the 8th divided by 3x squared. And then I can add to that the second part, b over c. So 12x to the 6th over 3x squared. Now we can simplify like we've been doing with monomial divided by monomial. So 9 divided by 3, I've got 3. How many x's are left up top? Got 8 and then taking away 2. 6 altogether. And what are we adding on to that? 12 divided by 3 is 4. And I've got 6 x's up top, 2 down below. 
four left over. Okay, and how can we check? Whenever we do division, we want to be sure to check. So if I look at the reverse, if I actually multiply 3x squared by what I think I got out, do I go back to the original? So if I take 3x squared times what I think the division is equal to, is it really equal to 9x to the 8th plus 12x to the 6th? Let's do it quickly and check. So first term, I'm going to get 9x, and I've got 8 of them all together. Mm -hmm. And to the second term, 3 times 4 will give me 12. How many x's? 2 here, 4 together will give me 6. So you can always check with multiplication after we've done some division to make sure you are correct. So we'll do a few more to practice. Polynomial, longer than one term, divided by monomial. So we can rewrite it as 10a5b4 divided by our monomial. We can split it up individually. Subtracting next term, 2a3b squared, divided by our monomial, negative 2a squared b. Third term, 6a squared b, divided by that monomial. We can break it up. Every individual term in the polynomial is divided by that one piece. And we can start simplifying and double check at the end. So my first term, how is it going to simplify? 10 divided by negative 2 will give me negative 5 on the front. How many a's, how many b's? So for a, I've got 5 taken away 2. I'll be left with 3. And for b, I have 4 up top and I'm taking away 1. I'll be left with 3. Second term. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 will give me a positive 1. We don't need to write the 1. How many a's? 3 minus 2, 1. How many b's? 2 minus 1, 1. That was easy. And the last, positive 6 divided by negative 2 will give me a negative 3. And I have how many a's? 2 up top, 2 down below. So they're going to be gone. And I've got 1b up top and 1b down below. Those are going to be gone. We're just left with negative 3. So how can we check? Make sure we have it correct. Take our monomial, what we divided by, times what we think it's equivalent to. And in the end, is it really going to be equal to what we started with? So let's see. Negative 2 times negative 5, positive 10. A to the fifth, B to the fourth, got the first term, to the second one, mm, a little bit farther, second one, negative 2 times 1 is going to be negative 2, I've got 3 A's, 1 B, excuse me, 2 B's, squared, double check, we got there, good, and to the last term, negative times a negative will give us positive, 6a squared b. Got there. You can always check with division by looking at the multiplication. What you divided by, what it's equal to, should give us the original that we started with. So go ahead and take these two examples, divide and check them. So the first one we can break up individually. Every term divided by 2x. Every term divided by 2x, every term divided by 2x. Start simplifying. 2 divided by 2 is 1. I'm going to have x squared left. 6 divided by 2, 3. How many x's? 1. And 4 divided by 2 will give me 2. x divided by x, they're going to be gone. That's what we get. Now if I take that and multiply, by 2x, do we get back to the original? So let's see what comes out. I'm going to have 2x cubed. We got the first term. 6x squared, second term. And last plus 4x, last term. Double checked, got them right. 
for the final one here, again, every single term we can take and divide by the monomial. Take each term, divide by the monomial. Last term, divided by monomial. All right. So, as we start to simplify, what are we looking at? 6 divided by 3. 2. No x's to cancel. That's fine. 3 divided by 3. 1. Still have an x left. And negative 2 thirds. We can't simplify that unless you want to actually do the division. That's okay. And to check, if I take my monomial 3 times it by, what I got out is it equal to what we started with in the very beginning. So let's see. 6x squared plus 3x minus 2. We got there. Double check. 